The Chinese are a nation of car lovers, and more and more of them have the money to indulge their desires. The Beijing car show is the world's biggest. Luxury automakers are cashing in. China has overtaken America as the world's biggest market for cars. The Chinese are now buying more than 15 million new cars every year. If you do the maths, that's 40,000 new sets of wheels on the roads every day. The results are predictable. A plague of interminable traffic jams and cities choking on carbon monoxide. But now a farmer from China's poor countryside says he has at least part of the solution. It took Tang Jinping just three months to design and build his own electric car. But here's what makes it really special. When Mr. Tang's Blue Hornet hits 40 miles an hour, a turbine on its nose kicks in and starts to generate electricity. It's pollution-free horsepower. Tang Jinping spent just a thousand pounds producing his prototype, but says he could mass produce it for even less. He stripped some of the parts from an old motorbike and an electric scooter and he built the turbine by hand from scrap metal. Mr Tang told me he had the idea for the car 30 years ago, but nobody else was interested. Mr Tang insisted on taking me for a spin around his village. The car certainly isn't built for comfort, but Mr. Tang says with an investor, he could produce something much more capacious. My dream is to make a contribution to society. I'm not doing this just for the money. I want to see people driving my car on the highway. I want to serve the people. It's not a luxury vehicle and the price tag is minuscule. But this wind-powered wonder still gets lots of admiring glances. <laughs> Tang Jinping hopes it'll give more Chinese the wheels they want without costing the earth. Holly Williams, Sky News, Banjiehe Village, China.